Paul, this one was similar in a lot of ways to last night. How tough is it to see the outcome repeat itself? Yeah, yeah I mean, the fact that we got walked off is uh, obvious, comparable. Uh, a little different in that, uh, you know, we got behind on a, to a really good pitcher. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't do a lot of damage, but we got a really couple of timely hits by, uh, you know, Bobby and Rosie, and of course George hitting his first homer. Um, Barrios had a tough day. I mean, I I give him credit. Um, command was off considerably, um, reflected by the by the base on balls. And you know, I thought he put up a good fight given given what he brought to the mound today. Um, but we had to find a way to try to hang around, and, and we did that with some really good relief pitching, especially from Moya. Rogers did a nice job too, but. Uh, yeah, once we got back to even, we kind of stagnated a little bit. We couldn't find a way to push that lead run across. You see some emotions from your guys at the plate today, and, and how hard is it to corral that and not let that derail a potential win in this situation? Well, we do the best we can. Um, I think there's going to be things almost every day that aren't going to be perfect in terms of uh, strikes and balls and all those type of things. I think that there were some complaints on uh, both sides that were ongoing. Um, I haven't looked at the video or anything like that. It's just, it's just part of the game. Um, there was some frustration for sure, and um, it seemed like we had some strike threes called that were borderline pitches. Uh, sometimes you got to fight through those things. Is Jero a guy that usually shows much emotion? Yeah, he back? protects his hitters. There's no question. I think that he was probably doing a little bit more peeking upstairs than I was. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things where. Guys are trying to fight against a good pitcher, and you want a strike to be a strike. And not sure uh, exactly how those those work, but um, when a guy's got that kind of stuff and maybe getting some benefits, it's going to make it even that much tougher. Another good sign from Blanco to hit that home run. Off. Yeah, you know, he's he's uh, he's doing well. I, I know that he, subconsciously, at least, he's been thinking about that a little bit. So picked a good time for it. Is it tough to see a good outing for Moya get lost in a, a loss like this? Um, I, you, you just build on the positives. You know, the outcome wasn't good, um, but his outing was outstanding. So, you know, we kind of pushed him there a little bit to go back out there for those last two outs there after he'd already recorded, you know, six, five or six or whatever it was. He got through the lineup one time, I know that. So it was it was a nice performance by him. We'll probably have to back him off for a couple of days. What, what if he and uh, Trevor May and McGill kind of showing you guys they're getting chances, bigger chances? Uh, you know, it's it's a little early in the process since we've transitioned, so we'll just kind of let them keep going out there and see how it goes. You were without a couple of relievers, I would assume. Uh, I just, there are some people that have been overused here, you know, but, um, you know, we got to get a look at everybody that's out there at some point. What did you, I'm sorry if I already answered it. What did you think of Reed's uh, stuff today? Uh, you know, you just you gets the punch out to, to end the eighth there, and you know got a couple of balls down in the zone that got pulled through the three hole that 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 you know eventually was the outcome. So.